Hello, Mrs. Drinkwine. <clears throat> um, my name is Dr. Shi. I'll be your physical therapist for today. Thank you. Um, you can call me Steven. Uh, how do you want me to address you? Helga. Helga is fine. Okay. So I see here that you have a referral from your primary care physician, Dr. Brown, for a left hamstring, hamstring strain. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And just so you know, I'm going to be taking some notes today so I don't forget anything. Is that all right with you? Sure. Okay. So let's start off with some questions, quick questions. How old are you, Helga? 24. 24. Okay. And have you ever been to physical therapy before? No. My original appointment was two weeks ago, but okay. I just I wasn't ready for it. You weren't ready for it. Okay. Um, can you tell me why you weren't ready for PT? Yeah, my friend had physical therapy, and she just had so much pain with it, and I'm just really scared that I'll get re-injured again from physical therapy. Okay, well, I'm really sorry to hear that about your friend, um, that she had a bad experience at physical therapy. Uh, did your friend actually tell you why physical therapy was bad for her? Yeah, she said they electrocuted her, like put these sticky yeah. pads on okay. her back okay. and electrocuted her for 30 minutes straight. So they put sticky pads on her back and then, okay. So it sounds like you don't really want that kind of treatment, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Thank you for telling me that actually. So I'll take that into consideration and we can definitely avoid that if that's what you want. Um, please remember, I'm here to help you make, uh, help. I'm here to help you feel better, uh, so if at any time you are uncomfortable with anything or you feel like you don't want something, uh, just go ahead and let me know. Is that okay? Okay, I'll try. Okay. So before we dive into the leg pain that we have, uh, there's just a couple more questions I wanted to ask you. Could you please tell me what you do for a living? Yeah, I'm a dancer at SeaWorld. Dancer. Okay, that sounds really cool. Um, could you actually elaborate on that, please? Yeah, so um, I play Punky the Chipmunk, and okay. it's this mascot, so I wear this like massive costume that's 30 pounds, and, okay. and I do the backup dancing for all the different performances, okay. um, and yeah, it's just, it's pretty fun. I love dancing. Okay, I see. That sounds super interesting. Can you take me through kind of a typical day that you would have at your work then? Yeah, so if I'm not in a performance or rehearsing for a performance, I kind of walk around the park in my costume and take pictures with kids. Take pictures with kids, okay. Sounds like you're constantly on your feet then, is that correct? Yeah, definitely. Okay. <clears throat> um, also sounds like you're working really hard. Yeah, um, I've been working there two years and I'm pretty proud I moved up and so now I'm a trainer for other, um, other dancers. I see, okay, so you're a trainer. And it it's like seven to eight hours a day that I'm working. Uh, Sounds like you're enjoying your job, though. That's good. Yeah, I mean, um, I actually just quit because I found out oh. the SeaWorld is a really unethical business, but okay. I'm going to be moving to Disney and doing uh, the same mascot dancing there. Okay, well, I'm glad that you uh, are able to find something that you genuinely enjoy. Okay, mm -hmm. so moving on, um, <clears throat> have you actually been working at SeaWorld ever since you injured yourself? No, not since I have. Four weeks ago when I got injured, I just, I couldn't work anymore. Oh, you couldn't work anymore. Okay, that must be hard. I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> and I'm glad you're here for PT. Uh, hopefully we can get you better soon. So then moving on, uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Um, I really like going to happy hour and drinking martinis with my um, my coworkers. Okay. Uh, but I actually hate wine. You actually hate wine? Yeah. Oh, actually I'm kind of like that too. I'm more of a beer person. <laughs> yes, beer is much better. <laughs> okay. So other than the occasional happy hour, um, is there anything that you like to do in terms of community activities or exercise, perhaps? Yeah, about eight months ago, I um, made a goal to lose weight. So I started this running program, and I'm really dedicated to it and really strict with my schedule and sticking oh, to it. Oh, okay. So you've been running previously. That's really good to hear. Actually, not a lot of people are able to um, obtain that kind of dedication. So good job. Um, <clears throat> actually, since you've been running, or since you've injured yourself, are you able to continue running in any way? No, I've stopped running since I hurt my hamstring. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay. So you haven't been doing anything ever since you've hurt your, any physical activity? Mm-mm. Okay, that's good. Well, have you thought about doing anything else, uh, kind of in place of running? Yeah, I've read a lot of articles on yoga and the benefits for both the physical and mental aspects of my okay. health, so okay. thinking about that. Okay, that's good to hear. <clears throat> and um, have you kind of 
thought about kind of replacing running while you're injured or something like that? Yeah, that might be a good idea. I think I could still do some poses in yoga. Okay, okay, that's good to hear. <clears throat> so then, okay, let's talk about what brought you into physical therapy uh, today. <clears throat> um, just write some stuff down here. Can you tell me where exactly the pain in your left hamstring is? Yeah, so it's kind of like in the back right here. Center. Twice the back. Yes. Okay. okay. So, and could you please describe um, what your pain is like? Yeah, it's kind of sore and sharp, and then occasionally it throbs. Sore. Sharp. And it's kind of deep in there. Okay, I see. Really deep. And on a scale of zero to ten, zero being no pain you've ever felt, and ten being the worst pain you've um, can you explain what your pain is like? Right now? Yes. It's a one right now. Right now it's a one. Okay. <clears throat> and at its worst, what would you rate it as? A six. Six. And at its best? Zero. Zero? Okay, great. So at its best, you don't really have any pain. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so other than your left hamstring, uh, do you experience any other pain? Um, in your body? <laughs> no, nothing no, else. No just, pain it's really just else. centered right on oh. the back of my leg. Okay, so you don't really get any pain towards your hip area? Mm -mm. And also no pain towards your knee? No. Okay, that's good to hear. <clears throat> okay, so can you tell me about what makes your pain better or worse? Let's start with what makes your pain worse. Um, walking. You, walking. That just makes my pain really bad. Okay. So walking brings on pain, and how long do you have to walk before it starts to hurt? Um, two minutes, and then the two pain, minutes. I just can't walk anymore. Okay. So you said you can't walk anymore after two minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> and is there, um, how long do you usually have to wait before the pain kind of? Maybe just like a minute. Away? Just a wait. Until it's gone, yeah. Okay, I see. Okay. <clears throat> now, is there anything else that makes your pain worse? Dancing. Dancing, I see. Okay. So, how long can you dance before it starts to hurt? Um, about like five minutes. Or I can, oh, I can only dance for like one move and then it hurts. Oh, so I So like see. I really can't dance at all. Okay, okay. And how long do you have to wait before the pain starts to go away? That probably takes five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. Okay, I see. Okay. So now that we've gone over your pain, I've gone, I've gone ahead and kind of drawn out um, a chart that describes your pain. Can you just kind of check it and let me know if this is what your pain feels like? Yeah, that pretty much does okay. it. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you so much. And I'm so sorry. Actually, last question. I wanted to know, um, usually what do you do other than resting? Uh, what will that, what, is there any way that kind of makes your, anything that makes your pain go away? Yeah, um, icing it and resting it and um, medicine helps. Medicine, okay. 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 <clears throat> okay, great. Now, I need to know how your pain feels throughout the day. Uh, do you have any pain in the morning? Um, no. No pain in the morning, okay. Do you have any pain in the afternoon? Uh, just like a little bit because I'm up and walking. Okay. Um, yeah. And how about in the no, because I'm off my feet. No pain. No pain. Okay, sounds great. Now, I was also curious, do you have any pain throughout the night no. when you're sleeping? Mm -mm. Okay, so the pain doesn't usually bother you, doesn't wake you up, anything like that? No. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so moving on, um, we're going to go to the screening form that you filled out before. For this um, I'm looking here over your form and it says that you have checked yes for anxiety could you uh, please elaborate on that yeah I mean I've had anxiety for the last few years but um, I'm on medicine for it and I have it pretty well managed so it shouldn't interrupt with my life or PT very much okay that's good I'm glad to hear that and it also says that you wrote down here that you're on something called Mobic is that correct yes that's for my pain um, and muscles, so I take okay. tel 10 milligrams a day. Okay, okay, I see. And you don't have any side effects with that? Mm -mm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, 
Um, it also says here that you use alcohol or that you drink alcohol. Is that just referring to when you go out with your friends? Is that what yeah. you said earlier? Yeah, that's like the only time I drink. Okay. And do you smoke or anything? No, no, never. Okay. And here it also says that you check yes for surgical history. Could you please talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I had um, right hip label repair when I was 18. I had a cheerleading accident, but okay. okay. Had surgery for it. And uh, would you say that surgery continues to affect you or anything? How no. Yeah, no. After the surgery, I really didn't have any pain or any symptoms. Okay. It's good to go. Good to go. Okay. <clears throat> Further on here, it says you've checked no for all family history. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything that this form may have missed that you would like to add? No. Nothing? Okay, great. Okay, so let's move on to how you actually hurt your leg. Could you kind of describe to me the incident that happened? Yeah, so I was standing on a flower pot. Um, I was trying to hang flowers and plant them. Um, and I started to lose my balance, so I started falling, and then my dog just ran out right in front of me. So in order to not step on her, I like stretched my leg out and landed on my heel. Okay, could you kind of... Um describe how you stretched your leg out yeah leg. I'll do it on my right leg okay, so sure. I was like falling and about to fall like normally and uh -huh. then my dog ran out so I picked my leg out and uh -huh. fell on my heel okay I outstretched see. Okay. okay that sounds tough I'm sorry to hear about that <clears throat> now have you ever injured your left hamstring no never and when you went to your doctor, did he order any kind of imaging tests, so x-rays or anything for your left leg? Yeah. I had both an x-ray and an MRI, and they showed that I have a grade 2 strain in my hamstrings. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and contact Dr. Brown about those results. Hopefully, the next time you come in, I can get to look at them, and hopefully it'll help us get a better idea of what exactly is going on. Okay, and so you mentioned before that you're putting ice on it. Um, is there anything else that you've been doing to alleviate your pain? Um, just ice, medicine, and resting it. Okay, so just medicine ice. Okay, now is there anything since your injury in your house that has kind of hindered you from no, I live in a one-story house, so everything's just right there. Easy access. Okay. Pretty easy to move around. Great. Are you using any kind of assistive devices? Yeah, I'm still on crutches. Okay. Crutches. Okay, great. So that kind of clears everything up for the leg pain. Um, before we start actual physical therapy treatment, I wanted to know, uh, do you have any kind of goals or anything that you want to get out of physical therapy? Yeah, I have a few. I'd really like okay. to get back to work, which includes okay. dancing. And okay. I like to dance outside of work, too. Okay. Um, my running program, love to get back to that. Okay. Um, and walk with my dog. Okay, sounds great. We will definitely do our best to try to help you get, uh, get those goals accomplished. Um, and that takes care of everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the 